How many of you record your gameplay in 4K? This is New World, the brand new MMO by Amazon in full 4K, 3840 by 2160 resolution. You can choose that in the bottom left corner of the YouTube video player, go to the highest setting that you can, so you can really appreciate the difference that a 4K gameplay video makes to your audience. It's all about standing out in YouTube to grow faster. One way to do that is to upgrade your gaming rig to support the full 4K resolution at 60 frames per second that we are playing at right now. You can see the detail when you look at the wood and the lighting and all of the reflections. That's amazing. You do not get this level of detail on lower resolutions like 1080p, which used to be good enough, guys but now the new standard is 4K. Amazon's MMO is still in closed beta. It will launch in full on August 31st. How many of you are planning to get it and make videos about it? We are. In fact, we have a full series dedicated to New World on www.mgn.gg. Check it out. I'm gonna run around the game at this beautiful 4K and show you some of the highlights of this engine. Here is a regular urn or jug and look at the reflections. Look at how the light refracts and reflects from this. Just how, how I change my camera angle, slowly panning up and down. And you can see from the top to the side, it feels like a ray traced scene. I was so impressed when I saw this and there's a flame that adds a flickering light across anything that touches it and you can see it even gets a bit blurry. And there's another player who just joined me. He's crafting. He is uh, creating items from, the, uh, from what he harvested, and I'll show that to you later on in this video. And I'm just carrying a uh, wood staff with a shield, and it's a fire staff. And look at this. These are like some colorful bunnies with some yawning huge lion. It's uh, pretty cool. I, be I bet these are pets you'll be able to get. Uh, later on in the game. You see the smoke in the background. Here are two chimneys that are smoking in New World. And you can see the sky is so beautiful and it's daylight. At nighttime you see the moon and you can run by moonlight. Here let's run through the town so you get a sense of all the other attractions and amazing graphics that New World has to offer. Here's the map view and you can see that I am in the middle of town, and there's a bunch of banners. These are different factions. That green one was the Marauders faction. There are three factions. Just like in World of Warcraft, there are two. Uh, and here I am at the well getting some water. Uh, in World of Warcraft, there's two, the Horde and the Alliance. In New World, there are three, Marauders, the Syndicate, the Syndicate, and the Covenant. And by around level nine, you'll be choosing one. Here we are in the outdoors. Everything is destructible, not everything, but trees you can chop down, boulders you can mine, uh, some plants you can harvest with your sickle. And again, look at the beauty of this game. Here we have the daylight, the trees, the grass, and the grass, the individual grass, um, what do you call leaves, <laughs> uh, stalks, they're waving in the wind and there's flowers, you can't pick those, but here's an example of something you can, uh, what you can do, you can skin a bear, and someone else killed it, they just didn't want the hide, so I picked it up just now. Let's run through the forest, run into that, uh, the sun as it's setting, and you can see the beams of light coming uh, through the trees, and it creates a mist. Here's something special, it is uh, something you can harvest, nuts. There are nuts on the ground, but that's not what you were thinking, and I actually meant this dragon glory. It's a higher level plant you can harvest after you've leveled up your, um, your skill. And here you can see I did it. I have 90 harvesting, and the dragon glory stem is in the inventory. You just press tab to open your inventory, and then you can see it here. The fire moat is what I collected, plus the dragon glory stem. Now. Let's do a little bit of combat. You see that wolf in the distance? You can either run up and start hitting him or you can use your gun. Now I have a musket. You have muskets and bows. Each have different skill trees and abilities and different ammo types. So I'm going to use my musket 
but I have to equip it. Here it is in my inventory. I put it in as my secondary weapon. I put my long sword as my primary. Let's wield the musket. Let's aim and shoot. I'm gonna hit him. I can miss. This is an action combat system, which means if your projectile gets if you miss or they dodge, that's a, that's a miss. No tab targeting in this game. So here I've killed the wolf and I'm going to skin him. This is my prize, some rawhide, which I can use later in town to craft to make clothes, either medium armor or, uh, or cloth armor. Now let's have a look. Oh, here's another dragon glory, which is cool. Now here I'm showing you how I can dodge. Dodging is an important part of this game because if you dodge, you take no damage. You can use your shield to block, but that takes stamina. Unless your stamina gets to zero, then the shield is useless. It's taking, hit, taking hits. Now you can see I can now roll. That Before I was just sidestepping, now I'm rolling. It's because of the weight class. You can see here I am medium, but if I take off some of my armor pieces, I'm in light wave weight class, which allows me to do much longer and quicker dodge and mobility is so important in this game especially in pvp that you want to be a light Here's the <laughs> yes there are turkeys in the game they're one shot wonders and i'm gonna skin a turkey for its feathers what do you need feathers for to make arrows for your bow it's very realistic in that sense where you can uh, chop down trees even for lumber which you need to make arrows. Arrows and feathers together uh, to craft your ammo for your bow. Now here I'm chopping down a young tree and what? It's gonna fall in the forest. It's gonna hit me on the head, but there's no collision damage. You don't die by getting hit on the head with the tree. Unlike in Valheim, a game which you can have death by tree. Not in New World. I was actually glad for that because I have enough to worry about dodging uh, projectiles and opponents. Uh, I don't need to worry about dodging trees falling. So here I'm collecting bushes. Even a bush you can collect for some wood. Very little bit of wood. You get a lot more from the trees. Now let's look at a little bit more combat uh, with strategy. So here I'm going to go on top of this uh, stone block and I'm going to shoot some undead far in the distance. And here I am blasting away and I'm going to try to kill him just with a gun. And he's almost dead. I missed him. See, you can miss. He's gonna hit me. I missed again. <laughs> I finally get up with the last shot there. Now you can crouch. You can not just crouch, but go prone. Let me show you. Of course, I'm gonna shoot this guy. And then I'm gonna switch to my uh, sword and shield. And look, I'm gonna block a hit. Oh, there, you there I blocked. You see my stamina bar drop. And I dodged back there. And I did a hard lunge, which finished off that opponent. This is a low-level guy, so he's very easy. But here I am prone in my underwear. Remember, I took off my pants to be a light, uh, <laughs> a light uh, weight class. So let's look for something to shoot in the far distance, uh, aiming with my reticle. There we go. I found something I missed. I'm going to try again. Shoot, got him that time. Now he's coming at me. He knows what hit him. It's a wolf. And I didn't quite reach uh, to get him. He came very quickly, so I'm going to switch to my sword and shield. I'm going to finish him off in the standard melee way. So there's so much variety in how you want to approach combat in the world. It's a classless system. You don't choose warrior, cleric, magic user, archer. You just start the game, and depending on the weapons you choose to use, you level up skill trees in that weapon. So here I am shooting with my musket, so I'm leveling up my experience with a musket, which will let me choose unique abilities, which I have none of. You see the QRF keys are blank. But as I level up my musket skill, I'll get unique abilities that I can use to, with cooldowns to, um, to do even more damage. And uh, here I am still in my underwear. You can see I'm a lightweight class, so let's put on the rest of my gear. So I'm no longer half naked. There I am. Now I'm a medium weight class, so I won't be able to do rolls when I dodge, just side steps. And when you're in the heavyweight class, you basically just like shuffle left, shuffle right. You don't even bother dodging with heavy armor. Now look, if you're environmentally conscious, you can chop dead trees, not the live trees. So you're not deforesting the entire game. You're only getting your lumber from the trees that have fallen on the ground. There you see the turkey spawning behind me. Let's go get him. Now I can't reach him, he's moving very quickly, but I can shoot him. 
and I got him on my musket. You notice the 227, that's my ammo. I only have 227 cartridges. After that, I need to go craft some more or buy them at the auction house from other players. Now there's a wealth of unexplored areas in this game and you can go check them out as you see fit. This particular area is undead and I'm going to walk right in and uh, make myself at home. Now these are higher level undead. I'm only level 15 and uh, these undeads will be level 21. But that's okay. This is a skill based game which means it is not just about your level and about uh, your gear. It is about your tactics. And if you do your tactics well, you can survive fairly easily in a higher level area. You can also beat... Uh, oh, here we go. So I'm jumping. We have to some food to get in some health. <laughs> I got jumped! But it's an undead that crawls with like one hand on the ground. So I'm going to get in front of him uh, far enough so I can just shoot him down. And then I'll melee him, uh, sh you know, fight him with my sword and shield. As uh, when, when he gets too close. So as I'm saying, you can see that he's level 20. I'm only level 15. My bottom left corner. So I'm not doing so well. I still have a lot of practice to do this action combat. But you can see I'm trying to block, and the blocking I'm successful if my stamina goes up instead of my health. You can see my musket has now gone up to level two. This is because I defeated a higher level opponent, so I get more experience points for my musket. And what's this? This is a rabbit. This is not a higher level opponent. This is a one shot wonder, just like the turkey, but he's hard to catch with a melee weapon. So you have to equip uh, a gun and shoot him. To get rawhide that you can use as a for crafting to get gear, better gear. As you level up your crafting skill, you have uh, the ability to craft higher level gear. And so there is an incentive to continually uh, harvest materials and uh, level up your crafting skills so that you can get better and better items without having to pay for them from the auction house. So here we are at a uh, high 20 plus level area. I'm going to walk right in and see what we see. So there are bosses. The bosses have a particularly uh, like a different look to them. They have Around that level icon is some extra uh, design. But here you can see I just achieved something. Following the beaten paths, I skinned enough rabbits and bears and foxes that I was able to uh, get an achievement. Now there you see, level 20. You see that mark around his level? That shows that he is a special character, on especially hard. I can go help this guy. Now, of course, as soon as I do, his buddies are going to shoot me, so I need to take care of the ass first. You can see I'm, on, I'm only half health, so I may die here. I'll try to survive. Level 21 versus level 15. And it's all about tactics. Here, I did a um, shield block. Finally, I blocked my shield, and I'm doing lunges. That's a hard hit. Again, good block with the shield. I'm almost dead. So I did a whirlwind blocking with my shield well and that's going to try to get him down while I just play it safe. Again, shield bash. Oh, and he got me and he's just a sliver of health left at death's door. Now a player can revive you. You don't need to be a cleric with the resurrection ability. Anybody who's not even in your party, any player can walk up to you and press E to help you up. Now, the opponent can also finish you off, in which case you must resurrect. And since no one's coming to help me, looks like that uh, guy who was fighting the boss either beat him or was beaten himself. Anyway, let's resurrect. And you can resurrect at an inn, which starts a cooldown timer of 60 minutes. Or you can resurrect at your closest settlement, which in this case is the same thing. So uh, it's better to just... Uh, come to the settlement rather than use your 60 minute timer. That's one of the tips when you're playing yourself, uh, just choose the closest settlement so you don't, so you can still uh, do a fast travel to the last inn you were at uh, when you bound yourself. All right, so here we are back in town. That was the fast travel point. And again, back to the beauty of the game, I encourage you to make all your videos at 4K so you can see smoke reflections and the detail that's only possible at this resolution. And this is the new 1080p, guys. It is 
3840 by 2160. Exactly four times as many pixels as 1080p, which is 1920 by 1080. Now it's nighttime, and let's see how the world looks under moonlight. At town, everything is quiet, and you, and you can see the starry sky above you. And let's leave the town to look at this moonlit night. And if I look up, I will see the moon in all its brightness. And you can, look, you can even see how the light around my character uh, changes and, and how the rays are uh, shown as if it's individual ray tracing. I don't know if this is ray tracing, but it looks damn good, uh, even if it's not. And it's very different from the daylight look, uh, where this feels like, you know, as it should at night with moonlight. And there's people out when they should be sleeping, uh, fighting as they do. And I can continue my harvesting to get my materials for crafting. Uh, but yeah, this is New World Night. And you see this big tree? You can chop down every tree. Now the the taller it is, the more difficult it is to chop, so you may need to level up your logging skill. I am sufficiently leveled up to be able to chop this young tree, and as soon as it goes down, it's removed from the world. Now it falls, as it should, landing on the rocks, as it should. Physics is pretty good in this game. Here we are, back in daylight, with the sun out, beautifully rendered grass and trees and sky. I much prefer the day instead of the night. I hope you enjoyed this preview of New World in 4K, and I hope you'll be creating 4K videos or 2K videos. Up your resolution, guys, and stand out from the crowd. And this is my new room. I'm experimenting it as a place to make videos. There is an echo, so I'm trying to minimize it. But yeah, this is a new location. I may go back to my previous office for future videos, but I wanted to try this one here and see how it is. I'll show you around. So this is my room where I still have lots of boxes <laughs> and computers. And uh, it's my home in Dubai, which you can see through there. And yeah, that's the outside, which reflects right back to us because it's nighttime here. No moonlight, as you saw in the game, but it's still a nice place to work and live. And hey, if you want to come to Dubai, click that eye to see my playlist of all the videos for the freedom experience of me in Dubai to give you an idea of what it is like living here in case you want to come in the future. Biggest advantage, 0% income tax. You literally pay zero for all your profits, both personal and income, and that's the primary reason we are here as a tax reduction strategy. All right, Freedom Family, who am I? <clears throat> who am I? I am the CEO and founder of Freedom. I am the Papa George, George Sunpai, and many other names you, the beautiful Freedom Family, has given me. Until the next episode, take care.